Most high-angle wells don't have serious problems while they're being drilled. The problems generally arise while tripping the BHA to the surface. This is logical since the largest part of the string, the BHA, is moving opposite to the direction of the cuttings during the drilling process and being pulled through them while tripping. An effective hole cleanup process is the first step in a trouble-free trip. It's also the area where vertical hole practices are the most inappropriate and could cause the greatest damage. The following hole cleanup practices are recommended for all hole sizes, recognizing that larger hole sizes and less efficient hole cleaning systems will require more time to clean up. Circulate and rotate above the achievable hurdle speed while working the last stand on bottom. Racking back a stand every 30 minutes or so is not an uncommon practice if directional concerns come into play. Circulate for a minimum of 1.5 times bottoms up and then until the shakers reach background level. Larger or longer hole sections or wells with less than efficient hole cleaning systems can take upwards of three, four, or more circulations to get the hole clean. It is important to note that this process does leave a small amount of cuttings in the hole. This doesn't usually present a problem in most wells, but must be considered while tripping. Patience is the single most effective hole cleaning tool in your toolbox. If cuttings are still coming over the shakers in any significant volume, then the hole isn't clean yet. These rules of thumb for rotary speed and flow rate should be taken on board and considered along with the other critical design and operational factors in the well. It's often necessary to compromise these rules in order to achieve other objectives in the well. If that's the case, practices should be put into place that offset the shortcomings in those parameters. The specific practices that will be required will differ from case to case, but will be important to avoiding hole cleaning efficiency problems. Once the hole is clean, then tripping should commence on elevators only. Back reaming and pumping out of the hole are not considered viable hole cleaning tools in high angle wells and should be avoided except in special cases that have been properly engineered. Tracking torque and drag in the well is the best indicator of the efficiency of the hole cleaning system. While drilling and drag taken while tripping is an excellent stuck pipe prevention tool in deviated wells. The pickup weight should be plotted against the predicted values at every stand while pulling out of the hole. With the shakers clean and the crew ready to trip, the most risky part of the high angle well is getting ready to start. Having a rig crew that understands the downhole environment in a high angle well will prevent mistakes from being made that can lead to serious hole trouble time. The following tripping procedures should be observed on all wells over 30 degrees. When the hole is clean, pull out of the hole on elevators only. Do not back ream or pump out of the hole. If tight hole is encountered during a trip, the first assumption should be that cuttings are the cause of the problem. Run back into the hole three to five stands to get the BHA away from the cuttings bed. Circulate the well at maximum flow rate and rotary speed for 30 minutes. Then try to trip the well again on elevators only. If the tight spot has moved or disappeared, it was a cuttings bed. If it's encountered again, the well should be cleaned up as previously mentioned prior to recommencing the trip out of the hole. If the tight spot hasn't moved, it probably isn't cuttings and can be worked through as required. If the well is back dreamed to get through the tight spot, Strict back reaming procedures should be followed to avoid having further problems in the well. The next section will cover this in more detail. This sequence shows a bit and stabilizer being pulled up the hole in an angled well bore. The cuttings load in this case is just barely low enough to allow the bit and stabilizer to pass without creating extremely tight hole. This level of cuttings can be detected in the well if strict torque and drag data collection is maintained. Even though the BHA works past these cuttings without major incident, it would be inadvisable to bring the pumps on at this stage. Major pack-offs and wellbore damage would likely be the result. If the cuttings load in the hole is only slightly larger, then tight hole becomes a problem. 
Bringing the pumps on at this stage would be disastrous. This is a valuable picture to keep in your mind next time tight hole is encountered on a trip in a high angle well. In either of these two cases, the response to tight hole is the same. First, assume that the problem is caused by cuttings, and secondly, get the BHA down and away from the cuttings before the pumps are brought on. Avoiding stuck pipe incidents is a major concern of all drilling operations. High angle and complex wells face the additional challenges associated with hole cleaning in multiple hole angle environments. Keep it in mind that tight hole and deviated wells should always be attributed to cuttings until proven otherwise will help to ensure that a proper response to tight hole is made. With the advent of the top drive, back reaming became a common practice in our industry. Back reaming is a very important hole cleaning topic in high angle wells, mainly because so many wells have experienced catastrophic problems due to back reaming events. It must be said that back reaming and pumping out of the hole are not viable hole cleaning tools in high angle wells. However, it's also recognized that the need to back ream under special circumstances may arise. This sequence shows a bit and stabilizer being pulled up the hole while pumping. As the stabilizer encounters the cuttings bed, the fluid flow pushes the cuttings ahead of the BHA. The further that the BHA is pumped out of the hole, the larger the cuttings bed becomes. When this reaches a critical level, Pack off will almost certainly occur. Although back reaming is a somewhat better environment because it spreads the cuttings up the hole more efficiently, large volumes of cuttings still tend to accumulate just above the BHA with frequent pack offs occurring. If back reaming is utilized, it's strongly recommended that the BHA that is being used to drill the well is tripped and replaced with a smaller diameter BHA. It is recognized, however, that this can only happen on a planned back reaming run. These procedures will help to minimize the chance of packing off and stuck pipe. Once on bottom, perform the cleanup cycle as it was prescribed in the last section. Commence back reaming at maximum flow rate and RPM no faster than 4 to 5 stands per hour. If the pressure while drilling and vibration subs are still in the string, they should be monitored continuously for signs of pack off and critical vibrations. Back reaming and down reaming are the worst vibration environments in drilling operations. Torque will be your first and best indicator of packing off, with pump pressure, PWD, and return flow as backup indicators. These pack offs create large pressure surges downhole and can fracture the formations, leading to lost circulation and wellbore stability problems. It is essential to be patient. If back reaming is necessary, then take the time to do it safely. This downhole video shows a wellbore that has experienced significant wellbore instability. These large washouts become areas of low annular flow and will collect cuttings that may lead to problems while tripping. Further agitation of a damaged wellbore through excessive wiper tripping, back reaming, and pack offs can lead to further destabilization of the wellbore. We mentioned that back reaming may be planned in special circumstances. These special circumstances generally revolve around floated casing or floated liner runs. The procedures that we've outlined here apply directly to this type of operation. Back reaming for hole cleaning practices should be looked at as a last resort. It can lead to significant wellbore instability problems, stuck pipe, and lost BHAs. Taking the time to clean the well up prior to tripping and then following the prescribed high angle well tripping practices will help to ensure that back reaming is not required. If back reaming is necessary, 
An undersized BHA should be run, and then back reaming commenced only after the well has been cleaned up. Patience is the key to effective hole cleaning and to the use of back reaming if it's required. Thank you.